Alright, here we go. Welcome back to the Agamemnon Game Review World of Warcraft video series. Today's broadcast is being recorded on the 26th of August 2018. The footage was shot on the 19th of August 2018. It was the Sunday. It's the first Sunday we did the um, what we call our Sunday evening uh, I call it. I, uh, I refer to it as our um, uh, old quest, <laughs> old lore. Um, it's basically we're most of the characters I have are not caught up to where we are at battles for Azeroth, so I don't want to just abandon those characters. So I have to give enough time so I can still play through. And my main core character, the character we'll be featuring tonight, she is just gotten to Pandaria in the lore and because of the way I play I play much slower than other people and uh, I like going to the lore and exploring all the different land I didn't want to rush that character and uh, power level the character to uh, 110 that to me that wouldn't be any fun for me that wouldn't be any fun and um, I really like the character here. It's the Lydia Marie. She's on the Dalaran server, as you saw as we loaded up. Uh, but I wanted to uh, preserve her adventures and have fun getting her to 110 because she's really the character I want to get to uh, the end game. As much as I want to get my. I have an Alliance character on the Feinrath server, which. She's only in the 80s, but that's my main character that I had going all the way back to when the game launched. <laughs> so, um, she mainly got behind because I went on a hiatus and, uh, and, uh, I plan to continue her at some point. But, um, as this character catches up with the other character, I plan to revisit those other characters on the Sunday night, uh, recording Sunday night sessions, which this is. Um, I still don't know what to call it. <laughs> In my mind, I have a really good title, but when I go to say it out loud, it doesn't for some reason come out. But uh, we'll get to it at some point. Post stream or old stream or old <laughs> classic quest, that kind of stuff. Uh, your yeah, name will come to me at some point. The big thing is, we're here in Ogremar, and this character. Where this character exists in the lore timeline is she just completed all the cataclysm stuff and she just reached Mr. Pandora. So she's in the middle of the Mr. Pandaria expansion. And um, Gorosh Hellstream is still the um, war chief. <laughs> um, so. Uh, we're a little behind where everybody else is in the lore, but uh, I, I don't care. I'm going to have fun. And for those of you that might have had anxiety with Battle for Azeroth coming out, that, oh, I'm going to miss out. You don't really need to have anxiety as you can still play older characters and still enjoy the game. Now myself, I didn't live through, uh, Le I haven't been through Legion yet, even though I bought the expansion. <laughs> I don't really know anything about Legion other than I've seen people play raids on the YouTube and Twitch. But then I don't really know much. <laughs> but so far my experience in Pandora has been quite, quite good. Quite good. As always, we're a warlock. <laughs> warlock is what I love to play, and I've always loved warlock, and uh, it's what fits me as a class. When I play all the other classes, I try to, but I never continue on because they're just not the same. 
I just started reading Chronicles Volume 1. <laughs> and I plan to do a voiceover, an illustrated version of that on uh, YouTube. But uh, I just now started laying out the voice tracks for that. So um, I won't be doing any voice acting in it. I'll just be reading the novel. But uh, I can't really do any voice acting. I'm a voice actor. <laughs> Gonna do our best to make it entertaining. One thing important to do as a adventurer is to set that clock. <laughs> One, Fraps is running, so I can record the time. And one of the reasons I like limiting my playtime to an hour is, uh, uh, you'd never go over on time. <laughs> and it's kind of like watching a TV show. Most TV shows are an hour long. Half hour long. So you get it in two parts. First half of the show and the second half. That's the way I think these games are meant to be played. And then raids are kind of like the stuff you do on the weekends with your buddies. Although most people I know raid on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. <laughs> for some reason. That seems to be the day most people raid. And I don't know why it has occurred. It must be because the reset day is, is Tuesday. That's when most people play. One thing that I've noted with Battle for Azeroth and going through um, Burning Crusades and Cataclysm and Wrath of the Lich King, I have played through Wrath of the Lich King as a alliance and Burning Crusades as both alliance and horde. I haven't really experienced uh, Wrath of the Lich King from the horde side, <laughs> which I plan to do. This character I went to uh, the Outland. And from there, I went on to complete the Cataclysm. So she, this character hasn't actually been to Northrend. But I plan to revisit that. At some point. I might do it before she goes to, um... If this character ends up reaching 110. Before, um... I finish Pandaria, then I plan to go to Northrend. After that. Just to, to do it. One of the things I had to get used to when I came back to World of Warcraft in 2016 after a seven year hiatus, <laughs> a break basically, um, it took me a while to get to understanding that you could do the quest in any order and then you mainly had to do the special features that come with each expansion. And then uh, you have to do the raids and dungeons, which they can be done in any order that unlock everything. But the quest you can pretty much do on your own solo. So those of you that are primarily either a person that does quest, does raids or dungeons. <laughs> Raid is a dungeon, just a larger version of it. And then uh, those of you that are primarily PvPers. Um, you can do all those things in the game and still have fun and uh, still there's no set way of doing it and I think that comes about as this game came out and was developed in 2004 the old way people used to play these kind of games is you pretty much did quests like an ever quest <laughs> you would just go out do the quest in a particular order and that would pretty much be an expansion and then all the other stuff the PvP and all that were um, side events whereas this game as it moved through um, at least in my observation <laughs> as it moved through burning crusades and um, wrath of the lich king and cataclysm um, where early on the game heavily was based on doing quests but they expanded beyond that for all the different type of players basically which i think is a good thing and so A person who isn't really into doing quests 
they can go about and do dungeons, they can go do the PvP uh, battlegrounds, and still have a lot of fun. And then uh, every now and then do quest. And for the people who do quest, they're not like losing out <laughs> if they don't really do raids and stuff. But I think if you do the entire gambit of stuff, you really uh, experience in World of Warcraft will be so much better, especially now that they're combining like cinematics, <laughs> cutscenes. Uh, I was watching the Gamescom this weekend and they were showing the orchestra on stage with all the cutscenes. That was awesome. I think all game conventions and comic book channel. conventions, they should have a live yes. orchestra on stage. That would be just, it brings all the conventioners together in one room <laughs> and it's just awesome. And probably a good way to promote not only the orchestra, but promote like small band, local bands in the area. That would be kind of cool. But anyway, getting back to World of Warcraft. <laughs> so here we are, we're venturing on. Um, we're primarily started out on uh, this guy's little farm, and he sent us out to uh, do all these little missions, which we've slowly been doing. And, uh, Initially, I ended up going back and forth because I was trying to remember what I was doing. <laughs> and, uh... Now, myself, I don't like to load my quest pad down with missions. Now, you'll see my quest pad over. I have a ton of missions, but, um... um a lot of those are tied to dungeons. <laughs> I didn't want them to go away. So... Because... One of the things that this game has done, they tied everything to the time walking events. So you have to wait till they cycle through so you can do them so you can clear out some of these quests <laughs> that are tied in them. And, um, which are cool. But uh, one thing that I did learn recently that I didn't know was the special events that are tied to each expansion. Um, the, when you go through the achievement, menus, there's actually a category for that, and uh, all those different events are tied, like the Battle of Theramore, I, I've read about the Battle of Theramore, I've read like Tides of War, and I've read uh, War Crimes, I've read all the books through that whole series, there's like seven of them in that series, and uh, but I never actually seen the Battle of Theramore in the game, which is a special event, <laughs> so, um, it's something that I want to actually do. Something I actually want to do in the game. Which wasn't until like a week ago that someone actually pointed it out to me. So, at some point we'll be visiting this in our video series. Now the intent of these video series isn't to... Uh, get like thousands Next of people watching. On, the yeah. idea is to build a library and journal of these characters as they go through and journey through the Azeroth individually. And uh, show how I play the game and uh, as the channel grows I think we'll the audience will build on its own naturally. And you gotta have something for people to look up when they come to your channel. So. As we slowly build our video library of our adventures, um, eventually to the day we can actually stream World of Warcraft, I think uh, we'll have a better user experience later on. So we are. Pandaria, so far, from my experience as an adventurer, has been a very pretty place. At least the, where the horde's been on. I don't know what the alliance experience is, but uh, the horde we landed in uh, the Jaded Valley, <laughs> Jaded Forest, and it's pretty much where our story began. And then now we're in this the second area, which is the um, the Four Elements Valley of the Four Elements. I guess that's what it's called. Which the something in the valley. <laughs> Rally in the Valley, I guess they call it. And over there are the achievements. You had to clear out all that stuff, which we're slowly doing. I 
I kind of like it. at least these last two weeks I've had to work on Saturday and Friday so uh, I've been using both those days to clear out all these videos and uh, it's been relaxing you have one or two days where you're not really playing any games you sit down and uh, work on videos it's been a lot of fun we're about halfway through this one to go up on all these different uh, cliffs and uh, gather these uh, floral and uh, gather these resources and what's interesting here is all these cultures are doing what are called if you study anthropology it's called horticulture <laughs> agriculture horticulture is where the, the agriculture because they don't live in a flat region so they learn to farm or do agriculture on the different levels of the mountain, different steps. And um, it's the one thing that's pretty, real pretty about the land is the, the topography. It's how they have all the different uh, farms growing on the different uh, levels there, which is kind of cool. River led you here. She's like, where have I seen you before? <laughs> uh, Ashel's vision. Have a look at that. Ashel motions at the massive waterfall to the north. This must be the water supply for the whole valley. Think about it. See, Lydia Marie, the Pandarian, used this water to grow vegetables the size of a house. Where could it come from? What is so special about it? The elders among my people know a technique for speaking with the water and divining the future. Perhaps this same technique can provide insight into the water source. It's worth a shot, at least. Quest objectives. Speak with Asho at the Pool of Purity and observe this ritual. Except Go with the walkers. Well, here we go, off on our adventure. This is my first attempt at reading dialogue. <laughs> I zoomed in to read it, to record it, and then uh, yeah, I'm going on. I'm going Incorporate that technique from this point on in the video series. Didn't know if I could do it, but now I know. <laughs> I can. Be careful walking next to people. The lions here. Lions like to gank people, so you gotta be careful when you're hoard. <laughs> Greetings. This seems like a good spot to consult the water. Go ahead and speak with the water. May the currents be strong.
hard to get the dialogue with the dudes when they run up like that. <laughs> they don't stay on the screen as long. Welcome. I've never seen anyone get a vision from the water so easily. Half shells vision, low level. And again, I can't remember the last time a Jin Yu came to visit us and then I can't believe he was able to see that with a stick. Perhaps there is more to crazy Jin Yu rituals than we thought. The Golden Dream. Anyo must have experienced what we call the Golden Dream. Many of us working here have seen it too, often after a long day of toiling in the pools. It's said that this vision and the feeling of elation it brings is a reward to the mind for working the body. There is an easier way, though we rarely resort to it anymore. A tea can be brewed using the lotus root. May your days bring you joy. Snap judgment. Yeah, it looks like I just clicked it. <laughs> Farewell. Wasn't really enough time to read that. <laughs> Speed reader there. I have to remember when I'm shooting videos now to give myself enough time to read the dialogue. <laughs> the things you learn in post production. Best thing about being forsaken is you don't have to breathe. Don't have any lungs. One of the benefits of taking your time around here is that a lot of people who gang people are kind of in a hurry and they're out running around so when you're slowly going through stuff at some point they just get bored <laughs> and uh, they kind of go on without go on without you One of the things I'm interested in learning is when we go through the Legion stuff, are we going to have to get legendary armor or is we just going to bypass all that? Because you don't really get the Azerite stuff until you do the pre-patch uh, Battle for Azeroth uh, quest. Which is after Legion, right? We'll see. So how are people who don't have legendary items going to do raids now if they don't have any of those uh, artifact items? Or is that stuff still into the game up to a certain point? You don't use it anymore. We're about to find out. <laughs> this was a pretty interesting. You had to go and knock out all these turtles. Turtle, at least, I think in Japan is a sacred animal. You know, in Thailand, the elephant is a sacred animal. I don't know about China. That's where all those movies of Gamera come from. Although there's never been a monster movie with a giant elephant that I'm aware of. <laughs> where Godzilla and uh, 
Gamera and Rodan, Mothra. The things, one of the things I like about doing these video series, it gives you a chance to really learn, like, things about Adobe Premiere and, uh, Adobe, um, Audition that you wouldn't normally do. Every little project teaches you new aspects of the program, or you try to find different ways of doing things, and, uh, it's fun. And slowly, uh, recording, uh, Chronicles and, uh, Tides of War and, um, Cycles of Hatred into Audition. I want to design my own illustrated, uh, series of, uh, artwork. Along with the books. Now I can't do fancy dialogue, <laughs> but uh, I'm not a voice actor, so I, my voice sounds pretty much the same no matter how much I try to change it <laughs> when I do voiceovers. So I'm well, I think we can still make it entertaining. You have my gratitude, Z. Lydia Marie. Please take this as a token of our appreciation. When in doubt, I take the one that offers the best payout of gold. Bring you joy. <laughs> but I'm primarily looking at stuff that improves uh, mastery and um, haste. Because those are two stats that demonology needs the most. Mastery uh, improves your demons, and uh, haste improves your ability to cast stuff. Hello. Were you around before? Yes. Did you need something? Ah, dream leaves. So you want to see the golden dream, do you? Come to think of it, I haven't seen the dream in years. Not since I was a cub, spending long hours playing in the pool. Long before I took up the culinary arts. Looks like you brought enough for a dream leaf. May the mist protect you. <laughs> Went a little too fast there. <laughs> Cutscene. Pretty interesting. Well, have you heard about the crisis we're having at the pool? Toads have moved in and are spawning like crazy. Apparently I just clipped that. It's hard to read. Reed has the 
thing moves really fast. <laughs> and I have to keep zooming in. That takes some time. To keep stopping them. Video. What do you need? Watery woes. I love fishing. I've been enjoying myself. White tiger watch over you. It's about as far as I can read in two seconds. <laughs> so here we go. off to do this part. It's going to end the part one. We'll continue it on in part two of this episode of World of Warcraft.